last time you had the fluid in why you should make it a priority sooner rather than later. And our Monday Morning Mechanic, David Rogers, is here with an entire transmission cut in half. Hi, David. Hi there. How are you? Good, thanks. For two years, I've been trying to get one of these. So really? I show it to you. Okay. I finally okay. did. You know, the big secret here, Natalie, is fluid. The fluid condition is key. This is good fluid. It looks like kind of like that old Vicks 44D cough syrup. I mean, this is bad fluid, and this is really oh, bad Oh, it's really fluid. bad. Yeah, it's gone a long ways. And the real thing to understand here is that when a fluid changes, just a a, a little bit of color or becomes a little bit more watery, then we're not lubricating properly, okay? Right. All the fluid sits clear down here in the very bottom of the transmission. If this were in your car, it would be in just like this. And the fluid's all down here. When everything's sealed up good, then it pushes the fluid up in between all these little moving parts. It keeps them all moving nicely. Huh? Exactly. Right. And it keeps them from rubbing together. And, and metal on metal, as you know, can never be good. Now, inside here, in between these clutches, what we have... These are all little clutch bands, all these little these little things, and they're everywhere. You can see them all along here. In between the metal ones, we have fiber, okay, and it's attached to that metal. When that fluid starts changing color, when it gets too warm, we start rubbing together, the fiber is going to scrape off all of the surface, and then the metal is going to meld together, and it's going to literally weld itself together. The thing to know about transmissions, you aren't going to get a warning. Okay, the only Just warning you have, have is the color of the fluid. This is why I tell people, don't go to fast oil change. Don't try to get it done in 20 or 30 minutes. Go to a real technician. Let him inspect everything. Let him pull these fluid samples and show you. Because just 20 degrees warmer, just 20 degrees, is going to cut the life in half of that fluid. How often should you change the transmission fluid? The way that I tell people is, number one, anytime the color's off of where it's supposed to be, I'm going to change mine. Okay, because okay. that unit... So typically, does that happen after a year, six months, three months? Like good rule of thumb, every other year. But if it happens sooner, I'm going to change okay, it correct. anyway. Okay. Because this unit's going to cost about three or four thousand huh. dollars. You don't want to mess with that. No, that's a lot of money. And, and a fluid change, you know, when we change the fluid, we're going to change this gasket on the pan and make sure everything's sealing well. Okay. We're going to take the filter out, put a new filter in. I mean, everything's going to flow better after you do that fluid. So it's not something to put off. So the question to ask is, did you check the transmission fluid? Can I see Can the I transmission see fluid? You want to see that it looks like this and not like this. And if you're in an, an ethical place, they'll let you watch them take that sample okay. from your car right. so that you know that that's real. Right. Biggest, most important thing, get that fluid changed and keep that transmission Save yourself smooth. a lot of money. And don't yeah. walk in the snow because you could smoke a transmission in three minutes. Ew. Okay. Three minutes. It gets hot. <laughs> Sounds like another topic for another day. <laughs> David, thanks as always. We appreciate it.